welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're showcasing the 10 best armor sets in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For this list, we'll be looking at armor sets both new and old that are definitely worth tracking down in the latest Zelda adventure. Which armor set has been your personal favorite to don? Share your thoughts in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Miner's Armor Set If you're the type to grow tired of hurling and shooting bright bloom seeds all over the depths, the Miner's Armor is definitely for you. Each piece gives off a faint glow, making it easier to see what's around you. This is especially nice during combat in the depths, with each piece beginning with a defense of 3. But getting the full set is clearly going to be more helpful as it will then produce a much brighter glow. Upgrading it twice will give you the Shining Steps effect, which leaves behind a trail of glowing petals for a brief time. Each piece also isn't that difficult to find if you're an exploratory player. Old maps in the Sky Islands can lead you to them, but they're all found at abandoned mines. The Zora Armor Set As was the case in Breath of the Wild, the Zora Armor is the best set tied to one of the four main regions. While the others do add resistance to their environment types, ingredients for meals and elixirs that do the same aren't too hard to come by. And the Zora Armor comes with something far more beneficial anyway. Each piece's defense begins at 3, but will increase Link's swimming speed. The chest piece will let him swim up waterfalls, while the helm will give him a spin attack. Upgrading the set twice will also have Link use less stamina when dashing. Anything that helps with traversal in this game is a godsend, and they're all conveniently earned in Zora's domain through easily located quests. The Froggy Armor Set it may sound silly, but the Froggy Armor set helps lessen the pain of one of the most annoying things about Breath of the Wild. It rains just about as often in the sequel, though you'll find other slick environments in certain caves. Trying to climb in these instances is a nightmare and a recipe for frustration, so you better track down this set as soon as you can. You earn tiered rewards for completing each story in the Lucky Clover Gazette side quest, including pieces of the froggy armor. Each piece gives Link a bit of slip resistance when climbing wet surfaces, but you'll want to upgrade it with a Great Fairy immediately. Doing so twice means you'll never slip again. <laughs> the Climbing Gear Set One of the most useful sets from Breath of the Wild made a welcome return in Tears of the Kingdom. Each piece of the climbing gear begins with a defense level of 3 and increases Link's climbing speed, with a full set bringing a noticeable difference. After being upgraded twice, the full set will also let Link use less stamina when jumping while scaling a wall. With us no longer having access to Rivali's Gale, the climbing gear is more important than ever. You'll find the bandana in the Ployma's Mountain Cave and the boots in Upland Zorana Byroad, both by Zora's Domain, while the chest piece is found in the North Hyrule Plain Cave. Additionally, by mixing and matching with the froggy armor, you'll be prepared for any climbing situation. The Fierce Deity Armor Set While you could earn this armor in Breath of the Wild, it was only through using an amiibo. Thankfully, everyone can track it down in tears, and it is more than worth doing so. A message left by the bandit Misko inside Sephla Lake Cave in the Akala region will tell you how to get it. Each piece has a defense of 3, making it fairly average there. However, each piece also increases Link's attack power by 1, so it's a fair trade-off. Upgrading the full set twice will also cause Link to use less stamina during his charge attacks. Sadly, you'll need to farm dragon parts in order to do so, 
It's comparable to the Barbarian armor set, but the Majora's Mask reference makes it infinitely more cool. The Glide armor set. You'll be doing a whole lot of skydiving in Tears of the Kingdom. Thankfully, Nintendo included a new armor set that not only made it easier to maneuver while doing so, but incredibly fun. You can earn each piece by completing one of three diving challenges. The chest piece is on Courage Island of Central Hyrule Sky, the tights on Bravery Island above North Hyrule, and the mask on Valor Island above Mount Laneru. The glide armor may not give you much defense, but that's not what you'll use it for. It will make reaching every floating island much simpler and quicker. Not only that, but it completely negates fall damage after you've upgraded it twice. The Mystic Clothing Set Any armor that negates the damage Link takes is going to be useful. Several other games have included magic armor, which has you lose money rather than hearts. Tears of the Kingdom has the Mystic Clothing Set, which can be purchased from Colton. Similar to his brother in the first game, he only sells it after you've made other purchases. In total, you'll need to have 46 bubble gems in order to earn the full set. That means a lot of time exploring caves and hunting bubble frogs. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Unfortunately, its defense is a bit low and you can't upgrade it. But as long as you have the rupees to burn, that won't really matter. Plus, it dresses Link like the Satori Spirit, which is pretty cool. <laughs> the Wild Armor Set Each piece of the Wild Armor Set comes with a base defense of 4, and can be upgraded up to 28, making it one of the best defensive sets in the game. After upgrading it twice, Link will then get a boost in attack power while wearing the full set. Unfortunately, each upgrade requires rare resources, but that balance of increased defense and offense is definitely nice to have. It's also much easier to find here than it was in Breath of the Wild, where it was unlocked after completing all 120 shrines. In Tears, each piece can be found in the skull of a dark skeleton, conveniently located underneath the leviathans on the surface. Just be prepared to fight some monsters for them. The Depths Armor Set The Depths can be a pretty intimidating place. You'll need your own light source, and most enemies inflict gloom, a nasty status effect that also comes in the form of pools covering the ground. Anything that can make you resistant to this stuff is much appreciated. Enter the Depths Armor Set. Each piece will give Link gloom resistance, easing the trial of exploring this dangerous place as well as dealing with its enemies. Unfortunately, you can only earn it by exploring. Each piece is purchased through a Bargainer statue, appearing only once you've found enough of them. You can buy the tunic after finding two statues, the pants after finding four, and the hood after finding six, all for 650 pose. The Zonite Armor Set. Obviously, one of the game's biggest features is Link's ability to build different vehicles. If you want to get the most use out of your creations, the Zonite armor is a must-have. Each piece reduces how much battery Link uses to keep Zonite machines running, with the full set bonus being very nice indeed. Once upgraded a couple of times, you'll also get a recharge buff for said batteries. It's got great defense as well. Each piece starts at 4, but can reach up to 28 with upgrades. That's probably why it's a bit tough to find. Each piece is found on a sky island, requiring a lot of traveling and puzzle solving to obtain. Totally worth it though. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.